Well, surprise, surprise. Um, I wasn't planning on coming out here today, but we're coming back out. So, uh, gonna keep working on our little line shack here. Um, gotta take a little walk through the pasture to get out there. But, um, yeah, so gonna make a little more work. Maybe stay in it this weekend, I don't know. I was gonna go down to Hoosier National Forest. Uh, yeah, and just do an overnighter down there, which I may still do, cause it's gonna be 30 degrees and it's gonna rain pretty good Saturday night. And if you're like me, that sounds like a good time. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? I like getting out in the, um, you know, kind of mix it up a little bit. And, um, you know, if you get your camp set up and the rain comes in, it can be nice to just kind of sit around camp sometimes and, uh, you know, um, just kind of hang out in the rain under the oil skin or under the, under the, your, whatever your tarp is made out of. And, uh, you know, just relax, get yourself a little fire going, build up your camp how you need to. And, um, you know, there's no reason to suffer in the rain. You just have to make provisions to prepare for it, you know. Collect plenty of wood if you have to. And, um, you know, make a nice covered area to keep your wood. Keep some air wood covered. Um, Going to be bringing the bow saw with me. And probably my... Um, well, what, I guess with the hardware labels it as is a boy's axe it's a two and a quarter pound head it's basically a hatchet head on a handle that's a probably well the length of my arm but I'll tell you what last th last time i brought that thing out i really um the difference in wood processing and effort and speed and time that you're going to spend processing wood chopping a log with an axe versus a hatchet um, is, I mean, it's huge. Um, so, you know, a hatchet and a saw is a great combo. A hatchet, or a, an axe and a saw is a fantastic combo. Um, if you're just gonna have like, say, if I'm only going, if I'm not gonna carry a saw, then I'm, just gonna start carrying my boy's axe because it's honestly no harder to carry than a hatchet um you know or a forest axe i think they refer to them as you with with uh you know it's like an arm length handled axe and it's just the the, the difference in work you're able to do and you can actually swing the axe um i mean you just you go through wood much faster, you burn a lot less calories, which means you need, you don't have to create as many calories or preserve as many calories. Um, so that ultimately at the end of the day, you can get a good sleep because um, I was just talking about this. At the end of the day, what's the whole point of, like your success is determined on how good a sleep you get. Because if you get good sleep, it means you got plenty of calories in your body. You, got the right kind of calories and the right kind of resources and stuff in your body to um you know for your body to have enough calories while you're sleeping to keep you comfortable and um you know you built yourself an adequate shelter you built yourself an adequate um uh, you cooked good food all that stuff your success is determined on how well you sleep, I think, ultimately, you know? So that's kind of what it, all, all this is. Looking in the gear, what gear do I want? What knife do I want? What ax do I want? What pack do I want? What sleeping bag? Do I want a wool blanket? Do I want two wool blankets? Do I want 10 wool blankets? It's all to solve the mystery of how can I sleep comfortably in the woods, you know? without a propane heater or without a wood stove, you know? 
which actually that's I don't think I talked about this last time we're gonna end up putting a wood stove out here in this thing um in my what I'm calling the line shack here for just walking up on now see it's about a five minute walk out here but yeah so there she is so yep you get back to work here um not gonna spend too long out here just gonna fill in um some more of you know the frame is pretty much done happy with the frame so now i'm just gonna start filling it in and uh look at all the birds i'm just gonna start filling it in and i need to get a good measurement because i believe a 9 by 12 tarp will be all we need for this I can, I'll be able to get like a painter's canvas, nine by 12 painter's canvas and throw it over the top. Um, or I'll have two and I'll sew a section in the middle for like a ridge cap. And I was thinking about maybe doing that anyways, over the tarp. Um, so I think it'd be pretty cool to have a cotton canvas tarp out here in the meantime. And then it doesn't look, you know, it still looks kind of nice. Um, we're right by this trail that the city just put in. So people walk by which is fine, um, but uh, you know, I think it definitely look a little nicer having a white canvas out here, but I'll probably take it down when I pack up or something. Anyways, I don't know. I'm just gonna get working. I'm gonna break the bow saw out. I got the bow saw and the hatchet and um, grabbed, I'm gonna try this. I've never grabbed a couple of chicken. Uh, yeah, they're both chicken eggs. We got ducks too, duck eggs, big fat duck eggs. You can grab any of those. But I'm um, going to fry up a uh, couple chicken eggs, which I'm going to try boiling them. I've never, um, uh, well, I guess it's just a hard boiled egg. I never really like hard boiled eggs. I'm realizing I'm probably not going to do that. I got my bush pot, so I'll probably just fry up some eggs and do that. I got some water with me. Obviously, we got plenty of water um, that we I boil down when I'm out here. Coming out of the White River here, definitely boil that water. And otherwise, I'm just going to keep it getting go, getting it going here. And I was thinking about another thing as well with these uh, videos. I want to try and make these videos um, listenable, if that makes sense, because a lot of the I do probably more listening of, you know, YouTube stuff. If I'm listening to my Dave Canterbury and stuff like that, I do a lot more, uh, um, just testing out the sturdiness. I do a lot more listening probably than I do, um, watching. So I want to do the same for you guys. I know when I'm welding for six, seven hours, I like to pop in some videos um and just some stuff i can listen to and you know just something to pass the time and hopefully learn some things and just pass along things that i've learned along the way and stuff like that and um so that's gonna be my goal is gonna make all these videos that i put out um where they are you know they're definitely gonna be better visually maybe uh, there's gonna be a visual component but you'll be able to listen to them because if you're like me, you got stuff to do. And, uh, you know, sometimes you can't just sit down and watch YouTube videos for 10 hours a day. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, I'm just going to get to it here. And um, we'll kind of talk through things as I go along. We'll check in here in a minute. Alrighty. So, got a little work done. Not much. Just kind of put up some more. Just filling in space there. Basically just, you know, tying, tying a lot of Canadian jam knots. So, got a couple eggs cooked up here. So, that'll be a mess. I need to let this soak to clean up. I don't have my spoon with me, so. Whatever, but, um. Just got a, uh. This water should be plenty hot now. Glove. <laughs> One of the 
a glove is not just a glove. A glove is one of the most useful tools you can carry with you. Okay? Because you can really simplify your cooking process by just using a glove. Um, just because, you know, when... When you're able to stir that around a little bit, a little Folgers instant coffee in there. Um, when you're able to just reach in. Oh, oh yeah, this is a nice little spot we got here. When you're able to just um, reach in and um, grab your can your container out of the fire or whatever with your glove then you know you can kind of just throw it on there and then I don't know it's just easier and it, it makes things a lot harder if you don't have a, a glove with you so you know always put a pair of leather gloves in your back and I saw this uh, one of those YouTube shorts I think it was Wrangler Star short popped up throw a couple grommets in your gloves you know, I just happened to um, pick up a grommet kit from Harbor Freight. They had them in those boxes right up front, their bargain bin or whatever, um, right up front um, for three ninety nine for like a hundred grommets with the punch and everything you need. So I just happened to pick up that kit that day, and then what do you know? I get a video that pops up of putting grommets in your gloves and then you can hang them and that's you can just put a toggle through them put a carabiner through them and to me that's the best thing I've seen to hold your gloves and you know put it on the top side put the grommet on the top side I think is probably the best way um but yeah so good way to carry your gloves around if you want to carry them on your belt you can just put a toggle through them or like I said put a carabiner or whatever but anyways um so yeah, that's where we're kind of at today. Uh, oh, I got some hardtack here too. Cook yourself up some hardtack, keep that in. I always have this little bag here, which I have the, uh, I don't know, an old merit badge patch sewed on it. I think I talked about in another video. I sew patches on my bags. I made these little canvas bags, but I like to sew patches on them so because they all look alike. But if I just sew a patch on them, it's kind of fun, I guess. But also, I can glance at it and I know what's in that bag. So, I always have a little hard tack, coffee, and drink mixes in this little bag. I think I got a little Slim Jim in there, too. Just some quick calories. But hard tack can't go wrong. Here's how you eat hard tack. Drop it in the coffee. Let that soak up for a little while. If your hard tack is soft enough to eat right out of the box, you probably didn't make it right. Um, it's you need to make it more dense and that'll help it keep but you just let that kind of sop up some liquid and then it will soften up and you can eat it and some nice calories otherwise I need to finish eating my egg and letting this pot soak and then break everything down uh, the tripod also also got the utility tripod a part of camp that um you just gotta have throw together a little hasty tripod hang your pack on it hang your stuff on it got my case for my bow saw my my uh mask for my axe hung on it or for my hatchet hung on it um you know make that stuff so you don't lose it it's easy to find you don't have to bend down to get it keeps off the ground yeah it's just you know throw together a little tripod it's worth the time so anyways i gotta eat these eggs before they get cold and get everything wrapped up here and then head to the shop and do some welding finish out the day so thanks for watching guys um uh, stay tuned for more